Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I chose this podium for a specific reason. Two years ago, Mr. Speaker, I stood at the same podium warning the members of this House to be very, very careful how you use that candy from D.C., the stimulus money, that if you put it into school budgets and grow budgets, in two years, you were going to look for a lot of trouble, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cuts or, or increases in taxes. And here we are two years later. It seems that most of us, most of us on the right-hand side, on my right, must have forgot that, those, that talk and continued to vote for that stimulus money being injected into those school budgets. Here we are today, two years later, without that stimulus money. It's approximately $3 billion, and all we talk about is the cuts that are now on our school systems, on our higher ed. 1.1 billion in education stimulus dollars that we used the last two years to backfill, to backfill education funding that the state did not do its job in putting in. 91 million for higher ed. 91 million for higher ed. But we hear about these higher ed cuts. I, I, you know, I just asked the members, go up on YouTube, I stood right here and I talked about it. I compared the two budgets. The difference between what happened two years ago and today, we didn't agree with the Democratic budget. And at that time, at that time, Chairman Severa and the Republican caucus put, put out their own budget. All we hear about today is cuts, all of these cuts that are being made to these various programs. And they're significant. There's, there's cuts. Nobody, nobody's going to tell you that they're not there. They're not there because, folks, we don't have the money. I, I remember two years ago, uh, middle of the summer, standing at the mic in the back and questioning a $1.2 billion tax increase. The Democratic caucus was going to send the bill over to the Senate, $1.2 billion short. And in that, in that budget, guess what wasn't being funded? Higher ed. Higher ed was not in that, in that budget. We were going to send that bill over, and now see how concerned we are about higher ed? I applaud you folks for changing over, coming over to our side, because higher ed is important. And we were going to figure out how to fund it at a later date. My gosh, how times have changed. If you feel that there is a, a problem with any particular line item, you know there's an amendment process, or you could have introduced a budget, and make those, make those recommendations that none were made. We're sitting in very tough times. I've heard comments made about various categories on what was not being funded, and I kind of totaled them up. It's about $2 billion. So you folks feel that we need to spend at least $2 billion more, but then claim that we have $500 million more, that that could be a $1 billion because you anticipate the same number the year after. $1 billion. But in those same speeches that I heard yesterday, I heard that the DPW number, that $400 million, is almost impossible. It's not attainable. So here we are now. We, we're projecting a $500 million surplus, but at the same time you're saying, that $400 million, there's no way we're going to have it. What is the number then? Because all my emails coming back to me from folks back home are saying that we, we've got a billion dollar surplus. You can't have both. So if, if our number is not correct, what is the number? Folks, we've got a tough time here. If anybody thinks that the economy has leveled off and is on, in the upward swing, be very careful. If $4 gasoline and $4 oil, heating oil, a gallon continues, I will tell you next year we're in a lot worse shape than you think we are. If the, if the gasoline and the oil price does not come back down to that 250, 260 number, if folks got to put it in their gasoline and put it into their oil burners back home, their oil tanks, that's money that they're not going to have to spend in stores and sales tax revenues and personal income tax is going to be affected. I worry, I worry. Let's not make the same mistakes that were made the last two years. We've made some big mistakes. We need to live within our means this year. And if we don't, if we don't, next year at this time, things could be a lot worse. Thank you very much.